Hey everybody, uh, thank you for stopping by and today I am going to show you how to save different types of profiles and how to export them in Cura. Um, I've had some questions on Instagram uh, about how you can have you know different settings saved in Cura so I thought I'd just do this really quick tutorial to show you how to do that. Um, the main thing is why you would need this, say if you have different PLA or, you know, um, ABS, any other type of filament, you can actually save custom profiles for those specific types of filament. So all you got to do is once you have all of your settings set, uh, just like you like them in Cura, you come over here and you go to the drop down and you click on the create profile from Cura settings so what that's going to do is create a profile um, that you that'll save from all the settings in Cura so I'm gonna just create a profile so then what you're gonna do is it's going to ask you what do you want to name it um, I'm just gonna call this PLA Sun filament. So then I'll just hit hit OK, and then what it's done is it's actually saved that profile for me. So what I can do now is let's say if I've loaded in a model and I'm changing my filament, I can go over here to say my minis. Uh, and then this will change it to all of my mini settings or if I go here to this drop down where it says custom profiles uh, PLA filament and then you can see how my settings have changed so you see 0.1 and then if I go here 0.08 um, so it will actually save them for you um, which is a really nice thing so let's say that you have um, your filament and then you realize that your temperatures or something like that is messed up like you gotta fix it and because it prints better at a higher temperature so what we can do is we can go in into your settings and just change it so let's just say right here since I've got this my quality uh, it's at 0.2 uh, my layer height is 0.2 millimeters and I'm still on this so it doesn't save all of your settings on here so what you've got to do is you go to your drop down and then you right here you see update profile with current settings so whatever this blue box is around when you hit update it's going to change all of those settings to what you have currently so I'm going to hit update and then there it is 0.02 so if I come over here to one of my other ones so I got 0.08 and then I come back down to PLA eSun you can see it's at 0.2 now so that is how you have your custom profiles so you can change it per your filament or for, per project because um, like I'm working on cosplay armor uh, for my war machine armor and I actually have some special settings for that so the other cool thing is if you go to the drop down you can go to manage profiles so if somebody somebody wants to have your profile if you like they're having problems or something like that you can actually just click on that and then you can come up here to export so any one of these you can change and just hit export and then it's gonna ask you to save it and then you just save it um, so eSun PLA and then you just hit save and then it'll be wherever you saved it and then you can email that small uh, file to somebody or let people have uh, have it the other thing is is say if somebody has sent you a profile you can actually go to import so you go to import here and then you can go and grab it so eSun PLA right there and you can import it so then that's how you bring in a profile so you can see it's right there, eSun PLA. And that's pretty much it. If you want to get rid of these, so you can you can either duplicate them and then change some settings. So say maybe you have two different types of 
projects, but the, you want the filament like heat settings and height the same, but maybe your supports are different. Like you can see right here, I actually have um, different ones for per what I'm doing. So like I have a bust, I have you know point one with tree supports, you know. I, and then like different settings for like my minis. If I'm printing a mini, I print slower, but it's all the exact same for with tree supports. So I just duplicated it. So you can actually just click on any of these and hit duplicate and then rename it and click OK. And then there it is. Um, the other way is you can remove these. You can remove them. And that's just how you delete them. You just click on it, close, and that's it. So I hope this little tutorial helped you just with your settings and how to save them. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram. If you message me, I will get back to you. Um, and if you have questions and things like that, I can always make videos like this. Um, that's how I make uh, some of my videos is just from people asking questions. Um, I'm always loving to help people uh, with their 3D printing adventures. And uh, please don't forget to uh, like, like this video and subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, I hope you have a great day.